Over nine years, we've bought and tested the best 12 bike trailers on the market side by side. This review compares the top 10. Our bike commuting, toddler toting test team pulled these trailers over 500 miles. We all but forgot about our minivans, tackling playground missions, pool parties, and park outings with bike helmets on our heads. After we finished the field tests and our kids settled on their favorite rides, we headed into the lab. Using an accelerometer and an obstacle course, we objectively tested how each trailer handles speed bumps, curbs or unexpected potholes. Armed with the results, we rated each trailer on its safety and versatility, factoring in the all-important kid vote. Keep reading to find the right ride for your wee ones. The first product on our list is Burley B. We recommend the Burley B if you're hunting for a high-quality trailer that is light on your legs and your wallet. The B is less than half the price of our top award winner, the Burley Delight, but comes standard with many of the same great features we expect in a top-of-the-line Burley trailer. The B is just as simple to set up, attach, and tow as the Delight and just as easy to use, even if it doesn't sport all the bells and whistles. One of the B's best features is that it is the lightest trailer we tested, yet it also has one of the largest cargo spaces, so it's an excellent option for commutes or running errands around town. The B's passenger experience isn't as plush as what you get with a more expensive model, the seats are unpadded, and there isn't any suspension. Additionally, this is a single-function trailer with no options for additional strolling or multi-sport conversion kits. A few design features in the B are susceptible to everyday wear and tear, such as a fabric bottom that tends to rip if stepped on when it's resting on the ground. If you're looking for a nimble, fun, easy to use, and relatively inexpensive solution for biking with kids, the Burley B is a truly outstanding buy, so long as you don't need a trailer that can serve double duty as a stroller or a jogger. The second product in our list is Hammock's Outback Multisport. By excelling in every aspect of the passenger experience category, the Hammocks Outback impressed us enough to become our top choice for a comfy ride. Those riding in the Outback are in for a real treat, they'll enjoy wide, comfortable seats, large windows to take in the view, a secure footwell design that makes climbing in and out a cinch, and an adjustable suspension system that lets you dial in a smooth ride. Like the Burley Delight, the Hammocks has seats that can unclip to lie flat, which allows you to tow just about anything you can think of in its roomy interior. Our friends over at Baby Gear Lab also really like the Outback in its jogger guise. Although the Outback has some great features, we have to literally weigh the negatives as well. This trailer is flat-out heavy. It weighs more than any other trailer we tested and more than twice as much as its lightest competitors. This means whoever is spinning the pedals is in for a challenging workout on all but the flattest rides. We believe its weight is enough to limit its versatility since carrying large loads simply isn't feasible with such a heavy baseline weight. Other aspects of this trailer's design are also a challenge. From a crucial zipper that's missing a stop to its unwieldy size when folded, this trailer just doesn't exhibit the same design quality as some of its competitors. However, the Hammocks Outback might be the right choice for those not concerned about weight or slick design and those who just want the plushest possible ride for their little ones. The next product is Schwinn Echo. Compared to the other affordable trailers on the market, the Schwinn Echo is not only one of the least expensive trailers, but performs the best. This model is compact and easy to tow, and it sports larger, more sturdy wheels than similarly priced trailers. The Echo is well ventilated with a generous amount of cargo space. This trailer is worth your consideration if budget is your top priority. Of course, as we all know, you get what you pay for. You don't have to make a significant investment in the Echo, and what you get in return isn't huge either. You'll get a saggy footwell that's hard for kids to step into, a difficult and annoying cover attachment system, virtually zero protection from inclement weather, and a cramped passenger compartment. You'd be wise to look to a product that's more user-friendly and functional if you're going to be using a trailer regularly. That said, the Echo may be all you need if you're only planning on the occasional ride, only bike in good weather, and don't want to spend too much. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. 
As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.